welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Oh, yeah, you got it. And we're playing Monster Hunter mm, World. All the monsters of all the worlds. Iceborn Beatrice. Yeah? Uh, yeah, TNT Dynamite. Yeah, if, if, you, if you laughed at that, you thought that was hilarious. <laughs> they, you thought everything didn't. we do was hilarious. You they want don't. more of us in they your don't. life? Jones, they might. They all do. Okay, there you go. They want more, dude. I'll give you more. TNT Dynamite now streams every freaking day on Twitch at TNT underscore Doc Crazy Town. I said that wrong again. You never say it right. I was it. I was trying to put specific notes into my horn at the time. <laughs> <laughs> right? You try putting notes in your horn and then saying things right. TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy, crazy town. town, dude. On Twitch.tv every day at 9 o'clock a.m. Central p.m. the world ends. Well, yeah, we always go for an undisclosed amount of time, but it's it's always for an hour or two, dude. I like playing games. I play uh, Overwatch on there, and I play I played some over. I mean, I played some Monster Hunter, and I played some Overwatch. Yeah, and those will probably be the only two games you play until something new comes out that you want. Oh, man, when Cyberpunk comes out, <laughs> I'm going to be your Cyberpunk daddy's boy. Wow, you what if it wait. sucks? Uh, I'm still going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely spending the money to pre-order it. Mean, you played uh, Andromeda. I mean, you downloaded Andromeda. And you didn't play I that. played eight hours of that game on stream. And then? And then. <laughs> And no, and then, <laughs> and, then, and, and, and then, no, and then, and then there was nothing else because that after eight that hours, game was I just... terrible. I played the online for it actually longer than I played the game itself. And it sucks too because like I never played Mass Effect, um, but people said the, those first three Mass Effect games were some of the best games ever made. Yeah, Mass Effect was great, man. It was like, uh, oh god, there's another Fallout in space. Yeah, basically, it. Oh wow, there's two boys. Yeah, that's the that's the. Uh, oh, okay, you're just gonna shoot through <laughs> him to hit me. <laughs> Freaking piece of crap. That's the thing with this mission. There's two monkeys, dude. You gotta fight both of them. Oh dang. So, it says death over there. Where? I don't see any. That death. guy's name says death. Okay. Oh, his name is death. Yeah. Yeah, he's the harbinger of death. Yep, he is. What would you be the harbinger of? You know? Um, sadness and soul sucking. <laughs> so a woman. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> How is that a yikes? That is not a yikes. That is not a yikes. You can't yikes that. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to be yikes in my I, own home. I will not be yiked <laughs> ever. I will not. Why does he shoot fire like that? Because, dude, don't all monkeys shoot beams out of their face? I guess. I guess that's what they do. Don't you remember? Going to the zoo and watching gorillas just shoot yeah. fire out of their mouth? Yeah, my, that was always my favorite part. Michael Jackson's monkey bubbles was always the shooting beams out of his face, dude. Yeah, that was terrorizing the neighborhood. It was adorable. Uh, <laughs> adorable. Aren't these guys dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you bands it up, band Are they Master dead? Arson. Aren't they dead? That's not band. That's question asking. You want this to be? I'm an really good at asking. Questions. <laughs> I I'm know. Very good. Wait. I'm like the king of answering a question with a question. You'll be like, Jonas, do you like soup? I'll be like, what kind of soup is it? <laughs> well, it depends. Are we talking about a soup or are we talking about emotion here? Like, <laughs> what's the consistency? <laughs> we should play a game called Super Emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Broccoli cheddar. Most emotion, most emotional soup, Jonas. Ooh, boom. Ooh. Broccoli cheddar, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, it, obviously it just doesn't care anymore. Wedding soup, because it uh, brings up memories of bad weddings. Jonas is going to pick me up and punch me now. Oh, he's just going to, oh, he's just, he's going to hold you and squeeze you and make you. <laughs> he's going to pick me up. He's going to throw me in the wall and watch. Now he's going to punch me. I, there's nothing I can do. Okay, Ooh. he got me. He didn't get me. He didn't get me. I'm going to go yeah. right back on uh, his back. What is the saddest soup? S wedding soup. Uh, It's not sad in the moment, but it's sad afterwards. Why? 
Why is it sad after? I don't get I don't that. know because it's called wedding soup, Jonas. Okay. <laughs> Five years down the line, it's sad. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I get you. The saddest soup, um, aside from the pun of wedding soup being the saddest soup because of the wedding word. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking like maybe like one of those bean soups that's just like water and beans. Oh, like ham bone soup where you like what? boil the ham bone in it. And then the you... hell is ham bone? Have you ever heard of ham bone soup? Absolutely. What it not. is is you take uh like if you make like a Christmas ham, you just eat the bones. No, like you know you make when you make a ham. If you buy the bone in ham, you carve off all the ham off of it, and there's a bone, and there's obviously ham you don't get off the bone. Not like a lot, but there's a little bit. But you take that bone and you put it in a pot of water and you make almost like a ham broth. So that's and just then you put beans a, a, in it. A stock. It's like yeah, it's like a ham stock, and then you put it's basically beans and ham broth. But then Ew. there's little pieces of ham in it because it it all comes off the bone. But uh, that always reminds me of like a poor soup. A poor soup. <laughs> like that always reminds me of poor people. <laughs> <laughs> not, like, not like poor like that, but like, oh, poor guy. He's <laughs> eating ham bone soup. Oh, he was putting a, a bone in some beans and some water. He must be poor as fudge. Yeah, I didn't mean poor. No, I kind of feel like that's what you meant exactly, but, you know, it's cool, Jonas. <laughs> it, whatever, dude. Jonas doesn't like to let everybody know that he's really rich. I hate Monger. Yeah. And that he Hates everyone that isn't like him. Total Trump vote. <laughs> oh, Don't wow. deny it, because then they'll know. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck. Just let the joke fly. Yep, <laughs> <Just> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't but if you defend it, you're guilty. <laughs> yeah, you're case. guilty one way or another. <laughs> if, you, if you defend it, you're guilty because it's true. If you don't defend it, you're guilty because you're not defending it. Did I tell you that when uh, when Donald Trump won the presidency the very first time, and obviously there was a, a large part of the community who was happy and a large that was not happy. Right. Um, I would just go up to people and I would just put up the high five hand. I'd be like, Donald Trump, right? And you would get one of two... Uh, you would get one of two responses from people when you do that. Either they'll tell you to shut the F up, or they'd be like, oh my god, I know my daughter won't even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Those were the two most common responses. It's like relief that someone agrees, or right? pure hatred. It basically. But, uh, you know, hilarious, dude. Mm. <clears throat> well, you told me you've done that before, too. You said something about voting for Trump, and everybody's like... Like, make it like a secret, like... Yeah, dude, I used to love it. It's my favorite thing, dude. It's so manipulative, but, you know, you whatever. That, Yeah, you would always say that when, when like, in the, the first year of the presidency, you would just be like... Yeah. Talk about voting for Trump, and people would be like, <laughs> did you really do that? <laughs> did you really do that, dude? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I can't believe you. Oh. Uh, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Vote for the hell, whatever the hell you want, dude. Right, At this exactly. point, that's why it's your vote because you can do whatever yeah. the f you want. You can write in Superman if you want. At this point, I'm not necessarily. I don't know if you really can make a good decision. <laughs> At this point, I'm anymore. gonna I'm gonna go <laughs> vote and write you in. Uh, thank you. I mean, they haven't. They really haven't given us any good choices in at least, on my whole lifetime. Oh, fair enough. Ever, <laughs> ever. They've never given us good choices. I mean, people can argue that some are good, some are bad, but, like... I mean, some are less worse, maybe. That, well, until we have three legitimate choices that can actually... Like, I think we need more than two. It's like, do you want this guy or this guy? And they're both not, they both have not so great things about them. They both have maybe some good stuff about them. It's have, almost like they're humans. Yeah, right? Oh my God. I know. Do you, I oh, think if we had hard. three or four choices that, like, we voted for... People would have to like be more real. Uh, yeah, yeah, you uh, and yeah, you actually have to prove yourself. But they, whoa, dude, we should have like a competition, like for, like fear factor for presidents. There's like they start with ten. <laughs> I mean, they do that already. No, no, it's called the, the no, democratic debate. They, they have they have manipulate the public, tell them what you want to hear debates because no one ever does the f that they're t like. I'm gonna take this and rebuild the medical system, and then they get in office, and it's like four years in, and you're like, what'd you do? And they're like, oh yeah, I gave a, uh, I, I yeah, yeah, I got uh, like like for example, Trump's whole term is almost up. What was his whole big thing? I'm gonna build a wall. 
Is what? there an effing wall build anywhere? You're, this, you're getting into politics. I mean, not that I, I'm just saying. <laughs> my, point is pe- my point is people lie to get in office and don't uh, do what they say they're going to do. Because lying works. <laughs> they're like, everyone's like, oh my God, he's really going to do that? Yeah, Jonas, duh. All you got to do is make a bunch of promises and then not keep any of them. That's duh. Politics 101. It's life 101, <laughs> yeah, dude. It's true. I'm lying right now. <laughs> I haven't even said anything. <laughs> <laughs> my bre- my breath is alive. Yeah, I'm not even here. <laughs> I'm not even a person. Figment of your fucking imagination. You just- <laughs> oh, it's the end of the episode. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> end the episode, dude. It wasn't even a scared swear. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. We've already done that. Follow TNT Dynamite on Twitch under uh, TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town. For Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are. Oh, rip.